home. So today we are going to learn a new lesson, chapter 4, uh, that is from class 8, okay? And the name of the lesson is Query Forms and Reports in MS Access 2016. In the earlier class, okay, in the previous chapter, you have already learned how to create a table and how to uh, put the primary key and all those saving and all, everything you have already learned in your previous class. So now, in this next chapter, what we are going to learn is we are going to know about queries, forms and reports in MS Access. First of all, what are we going to learn is, that is, query. So what is a query? When it comes in your mind, what is a query? Query is a specific record from the table, alright, that meet a certain criteria. For example, here I have created, I have uh, written one table here. For example, you have created this table in your Access, alright. Now, you have entered the name of the students, the marks of the subjects, alright. What the query is providing you is, when you want the student, the name list of the student who is getting less than 50 or less than 40, whatever your criteria, your, your condition might be. So, to fulfill those kind of conditions, alright, to take out the information of the student list who got less than 50 or less than 40, you can use the feature that is a query in MS. Access. Now, the second one is forms. Now, as you all have seen, uh, as we all have already practiced in our day-to-day -day life also, when you go to a new school, when you are got admitted in a new school, alright, or, or somebody is uh, going applying for a new job, alright, they used to fill up a form, application form. In the same way only, form is nothing more than a graphical representation of a table. Or you can say it resembles a fill in the blank sheet that you need to complete with your hand. For example, when you already have created in your in, in a one table in your MS Access, okay, I have entered here name and address I have given here, phone numbers have been given this table. So when you create when you create this table in your access, after that when you apply this form in MS Access, what you can see the output is that in your name column. address column phone number this will come in a one shape so in this way whatever name you have entered in your table will be showing there in your form one by one for example the first name is Anu and the address of Anu is Lucky poor and their phone number is given over there. So, in the form, it will come in a sheet wise and it will be showing for each particular student. And the next is, let's move on to the report. Alright, reports. You can turn to your book, from page number 44, in the beginning, okay, introduction part, you can see a report is an effective way to present your data in a printed form. Alright, for example, this is the form which you have already created. Alright, this is the form which you have already created. After this, when you want to take out the printout of this form, that becomes a report. So, that is what a report means. To learn how to create query forms and reports in MS Access, we will move on to the computer screen. Students, I have already told you that we are going to learn about queries, forms and reports in MS Access 2016 in this lesson. So now, you already know how to open the MS Access. Click on the Start button and go to MS Access. So here you can create a blank database and create your file name. Alright, you already know how to do all these things. So, here I have already created a table in MS Access and this is the data sheet view of this table. Now, the first thing what we're going to learn is about how to create a query. When the number of records in a table increases, as you can see here, the number of records is too many, it becomes difficult for the user to locate specific records from that table. For example, I want to know the phone number of one particular student. And since there are number of students, there are lots of number of students, and because of that, we might find difficult to search the phone number of a particular student. So, with a query, you can apply a filter to the table's data so that you can only view the information you want. So, the first step for applying the query 
you need to go to the create tab click here and you go to the query design you can see on the screen query design click over there and now you can see that the query window this is the query window the query window is divided into two panes this is the one and another one is in the bottom so the top pane displays the table selected let me select the table here is a table name class 8 which you have already created and you can see add button is there there you click and you close it after then you can see the top pane displays the table selected for the query these are the field names of the table and at the bottom you can see over here at the bottom pane displays a design grid where you can add fields to the query and also specify the criteria it means whatever information you want to display you can select any field from the table so first of all you can see in the bottom pane what does it displays here number one is field Okay, field row displays the fields from the selected table. Second is table row. Table row displays the name of the table. Alright. Short row is used to filter the data in ascending or descending order. And show. Show row displays a check mark. A check mark in this way. Which indicates that this field will be visible when the query is executed. And the fifth one is criteria. Criteria row is used to specify the condition on the basis on which the record will be filtered. All row is used to specify multiple criteria. So now let's start to do. If a question has been told to you to take out the phone number of Priya, you need to bring down this field name on the bottom pane. So how are you going to add this field name? You have to note down that there are three different ways to add the field name. The first one is you can double click and you can see field name is already added. Another one, you can click on the field name, drag it and you can drop it over here. This is, also the, this is the second one, how you can add your field name. And the third one is you can click on this arrow arrow sign where you can see in the field row click over there and select the field name so now to find the phone number for Priya we need to select the name name field and the mobile number alright and whose phone number are we going to find out is Priya so that name should be entered in the criteria row you can write equal to and type the name Priya alright this is the concept how to take out the phone number of a particular student so after this you click on design tab after clicking on the design tab you can see there a run option is there run option click the run from the result group in the design tab of the ribbon and then you can see the result of the query is displayed in the data sheet view Priya the name of the student and her mobile number is already displaying on the screen so this is how we are doing the query Now let us learn how to create a form by taking the pre by taking the previous information from your previous table. So how to create a form? To create a form, you click on the create tab and then select form from the forms group. Here is the forms group you can see and you select form. Click on the form option. And then you can see the view of your form. So here is the form of a particular student. Name is given, father name, mother name, address and the mobile number for a particular 
student. So this is the easiest and fastest way to create a form. But you can also create a form for a selected field name by going to the form wizard which you will find under the more forms option and here you can see more form option is also available inside the forms group so select more forms and you go to form wizard here this is the form wizard window and here what we get is the first one is you need to enter the table name that is class 8 which you have already created and below you can see there are two sections available fields and selected fields available fields here these are the names of the field names of the table name, father name, mother name, address, mobile number and you can select only the field name which you want let me select this one this is for the sing this single arrow is for selecting only one field and the double arrow is for selecting all the fields alright let's go back again and you select one by one the first one let me select name if I want in my form another one is father name mother name and mobile number alright it means I don't want to show address in my form so this is how you can select the field name to create a form let's click on next you keep on clicking on next and in this last window you can see what do you want for your form what title do you want for your form alright you need to type the title for the form here I have already entered title of the form student info that is student information now let's click on finish button this is the form which you have created for the selected field name alright in the previous form here you can see all the field names under your class 8 table is showing in this form but when you use the form wizard and you have, sel and you have selected only the field name according to your requirement here name, father name, mother name and mobile number is there and there is no address in this form alright this is how you can create a form for the selected field name and there are three views in which a form can be displayed alright let us know here view option is there click over there you can see here three options are available number one is form view layout view and design view alright there are three views in which a form can be displayed Number the, word, the first one form view form view is used to enter or edit data alright let's try it click and see you can see you can edit this one you can edit by changing the name alright you can change the father name mother name phone number which is required alright so form view is for entering or editing data second one is the layout view click on the view option and select the second one layout view in this layout view you can change the design of your form You can click here and you can select any design. Let us select any one of this option and you can see the color of the form has already been changed. Now the third one is the design view. Design view gives you more detailed view of the structure of the form. Let's click design view and you can see and it is divided into three sections form header, detail and form footer okay. here what we can do is we can change the position of the data
so in this way you can change the position of your text all right so this is all about the design view we have already know how to create a form using the easiest way as well as by using the form wizard and also we have already discussed about the form view layout view and design view now let us learn how to create a report this is the data which we have already created before so from this from this data let us try to make a report i have already explained you in the starting of the class a report is an effective way to present your data in a printed format so again for creating a report you click on the create option and select the report so this is the view of the report where you can resize and adjust the size of the column as you have control over the size and appearance of everything on the report all right you can take out the printout so but before that before that we don't have the tab to change the size of the document so right click on the blank area of the form and select print preview and you can select the size of your document F4, legal, etc. You select the size and then you click on the print option, and this is how you are going to take the printout of a report. So, from today's class, we have learned how to create query, form, and report. And in the next class, we will learn other features of MS Access in details. Thank you, class.